Hello YouTube, today it's time for another pencil case roundup, the spring 2014 semester edition. I'll go through the pens and pencils that I carry around with me to class and to the library when I do homework. Uh, these are the pens and pencils that are a part of the daily rotation. And I'll be doing this video in manual focus, so please bear with me as I adjust for your viewing pleasure, yes? First up, we've got the Pilot Metropolitan. It's got simple, understated branding and styling. You can see this clip here reminds me sort of the Chrysler Airflow car of the 1930s with its aerodynamic look. Overall, it's a very classic, classy looking pen, uh, equally at home in a boardroom or a classroom. Open it up, we've got the nib. And as I focus right here, you will see that pretty well. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I have a black ink in there, and that's kind of showing up on the nib a bit. Uh, but that's Noodler's Bulletproof Black, and it's known for its nib creep. But it's a waterproof ink, and paired with this pen, it works on even the cheapest notebook paper available. Got a plastic section, and if I focus a little bit here, we can see inside, it's got a simple squeeze-type converter on open and uh, that converter is actually black so you can't see what how much ink is left but use the pen for long enough you get a feel for it overall a very nice pen classy simple and worthy of using every day to take notes next up we've got the Pentel Graph Gear 500 I've already talked about this pencil at length in previous videos multiple videos and uh, my opinion has not changed. This is one of my most reliable and favorite mechanical pencils. I've had this pencil since the summer of 2010, so that would be, what, almost four years now since I've had this pencil, and it's never let me down. You can see it's got a lead hardness indicator built into the click clicker and a uh, indicator of the lead size right on the top. Pencil Graph Gear 500, an excellent pencil and excellent durability. Next up, we've got a newer acquisition. I got this one this year. The Stedler 9252505 from Japan. This pencil is similar to the Graph Gear 500, except that it's made out of completely, this is all aluminum. This is a metal body. Uh, makes for a very durable feeling, but lightweight pencil that's uh, very easy to use and uh, doesn't cause hand fatigue during tests and stuff like this. We've got the classic knurled metal grip, 4mm drafting sleeve just like the Graph Gear 500, and a lead hardness indicator in the middle of the body. The way this works is you untwist the top a little bit and then you can turn this around, uh, you know, whatever, 2B, 2H, 3H, and then when you have it the way you want it, you kind of hold it in place and then turn it back. close up a little. Uh, we have a little stamping of the Stuttler helmet uh, right on the, on the clip. If I can focus that, you'll be able to see it. There. That's kind of visible, right? It's a very shiny clip. And uh, it doesn't hold... It holds fingerprints pretty well, so I'm going to have to wipe it off every once in a while. One complaint I have about this pencil, though, it holds graphite in its knurled metal grip. When I got it, a part of the lead was extended and broke in the package. And so that residue got all over the grip, and it's pretty difficult to get that clean. So if that's an issue, then uh, definitely figure out some way to clean this pencil. Otherwise, it's a very heavy-duty, reliable pencil. You can see, you can hear that solid click. And uh, overall, it's just solid value for money. I love this pencil. And next up, another pencil I've talked about much, the Unikuro Toga. This is just the standard model. I got this one at Walmart for four bucks, uh, along with a pack of lead, well, this this lead, and a couple of spare erasers. I've had this one since August of 2012, and as you can see, uh, it's got the wear to prove it. As you can see, the, the ink is sort of wearing off, and there's scratches all over the barrel and stuff like that, but the pencil has held up pretty well. So, all things considered, 
It's an awesome one. It turns the lead as you write. And so, if you can see, it keeps the point pretty uniform instead of having a flat side. You can see that pretty well, huh? The uh, lead, as I turn the pencil, stays at a relatively uniform point rather than have one flat side as you would on a standard mechanical pencil. Next up, we've got the Pilot G2038, 0 0.38. This is a very thin gel pen, thin diameter gel pen, and uh, it served me pretty well. Even though the pen is so thin, it's not scratchy as you would expect from a very thin nibbed pen. And the ink, by virtue of putting down so little ink every time I write, lasts forever. So when I got it, it was probably around here, and now the ink has all gone down to there, but I've written s several pages with this pen, and it's still going strong. I really like these G2 pens, but especially the .38. And here we've got the lone woodcase pencil in the collection, the Murado Woodcase. No, the Murado Classic from Papermate. Uh, this is the Mexican-made one. And I actually got a pack of 72 of these off Amazon earlier because I didn't want to ever have to buy wood case pencils again. Uh, see, here's the case. 72 uh, wood case pencils, blah, blah, blah. You can see all of them in there. I just keep that in my drawer. This is a good pencil for if, if my hand's feeling fatigued because it's extremely lightweight compared to those mechanicals. And uh, it holds a point relatively well. So this, paired with the Alvin Brass Bullet Sharpener, you're golden. Overall, a pretty decent pencil. Uh, even though the production has moved to Mexico, the quality hasn't gone down. And uh, overall, it's still pretty decent value for money. Good pencil. Next up, we got a set of pens that I'm pretty, I was pretty excited about when I first got them. The Uniball Signal 207 BLX series. We have these in green, red, purple, and blue. And these colors are actually, you know, color-infused black ink. Let me see if I can get a writing sample out for you. I have written down somewhere with these pens. Uh, let's see. Let's get a piece of paper and write it down anyway. Okay. Focus. Okay, let's focus a little bit close up. There. So this is the red one. The purple. Blue, and green. And let's focus again. As you can see, these colors are very subdued. And they're meant to be equally at home on personal writing or in a boardroom. Quite honestly, my favorite one is the purple one because that one's the most subdued and it looks kind of royal in my opinion makes for a very interesting class notes and of course the main draw is that you can still easily photocopy them in black and white next up we've got the other two fountain pens that i brought with me to campus we have the lamy all-star in coffee brown or toffee brown i can't remember which uh, you can see the aluminum body and solid clip inside I've got it inked up with Diamine Oxblood ink. This is a reddish black ink, which looks really a lot like dried blood, I think. Let's draw a little bit. It's like a reddish brown. Looks really nice on paper, uh, especially in person. Doesn't shade much, but paired with this pen in medium nib, makes for an awesome combo. And last but not least, we have the Lamy Vista, or Vista. I like to say Vista better. 
Uh, I've had both of these fountain pens for, well, since the summer of 2010, since I got the Pencil Graph Gear 500 as well. Uh, and I have this inked up with some borrowed Noodler's Apache Sunset. This is an orange ink that shades extremely well. I haven't used it for a bit, so we've got a little bit of a dry start here. But if you can see that, even in a medium nib, this ink really does shade. Uh, can't really see it that well, but yeah, it's a really nice ink. The erasers in the group, the Pentel High Polymer ZEH05, as you can see here, and the Stuttler Mars Plastic, which you can't see anywhere because the wrapper has long since disintegrated. But both of these erasers are solid performers. Let's test them on a wood case pencil and, of course, mechanical. Some polymer lead for those erasers to eat up. Here's the ZEH05 on the top. And the Stedler on the bottom. Stedler on the bottom again. And then the ZEH05 on top. As you can see, the marks are nearly completely gone, and I colored pretty hard with those pencils. They're both extremely good, and they're invaluable on an exam. And that about wraps it up. So, here you had a highlight of the pencil case. Vikram Shah, Spring 2014, signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.